I'm your host Aurora and today I'm especially excited to be recording an episode for you. Um, I don't know, it's been crazy this week. So many people reached out to me and gave me feedback about this podcast and I feel just very, very touched and feel like when I'm recording an episode, I'm connecting with you at the same time. And we have been going through a lot of stress here on the farm in Canada at minus 40 degrees. <laughs> the water pipes froze, so for over a day now, I'm without water. And to record this podcast just gives me peace and helps me to disconnect from, yeah, farm stuff. So thank you so much. <laughs> Today I got to thank you for this little time out here. I hope you are in a good place and can rest and relax into my energy here. And if you're not in a good place, I hope I can lift you up, make you feel okay and um, yeah might just be a phase or a shitty day so having to live without water for a little while now really teaches me um, how much I was taking water for granted imagine not being able to wash your hands you can't even go to the bathroom because you don't want the house uh, starting to stink um, of course you don't have no water to drink you can't wash your fruit or your vegetables um, yeah washing your hands has been the worst for me because of COVID and wanting to be cautious so it's been very very interesting and of course taking a shower washing your hair is not possible either so you rely heavily on not other people which is something I really, really dislike, to say the least. So today it made me think, what else am I taking for granted in my life? And if it was gone from the one uh, minute to the next, um, what would I severely miss or couldn't live without? And I think it's very important to ask that question on a regular because we tend to be so caught up with our daily lives, with watching the news and having opinions and judgments and you take the stuff that really gets you going, that keeps your life for granted and are scattered all over the place, um, although it's all right in front of you, but you don't see it. So what is it that you take for granted and Especially if you're having a shit day, it is always good practice to think about everything we have, the abundance we live in, in order to pull ourselves out of that miserable place again. So I want to start with meaningful connections that you have. Um, of course, food and water is most important, shelter and good sleep. But on an emotional level, what keeps us healthy is meaningful relationships. So if you are currently in a relationship, if you are married, how grateful are you for your partner? Is it the right match? And if yes, do you show them your appreciation, your gratitude? And I don't want this episode to be like too heavily focused on gratitude but more on taking for granted um, so the opposite side of gratitude gratitude um, if you look at your partner um, did you have a meaningful conversation lately did you Really listen to them and put yourself into their place. Uh, maybe you are in a long-term relationship and they keep having the same problems, they keep having 
the same stuff they bring up. Maybe they're naggy. Um, is there something you can improve from your side when it comes to conversation? Can you maybe cut through the naggy, naggy nagging and um, see what is the deep-rooted ro cause of the nagging? Um, did you have a meaningful conversation lately? And if not, I encourage you to have one. And it doesn't matter um, really what it is about. It can be about something in your childhood or um, like the happiest day in your life or whatever you're interested in and maybe never ask your partner. So in order to not make the other pe person feel taken for granted, a good conversation can help to make you feel good about yourself too and deepen the relationship. Then, of course, water. <laughs> How do you use water in your life? Um, do you just have a shower in the morning or in the evening and just make it quick and, and easy? Or do you actually sometimes stand there, of course, without wasting tons of water, but really relish in that feeling and know how rich you are because you're able to take a shower whenever you want, maybe even a bath? Do you truly enjoy and feel pleasure when you have that water running down your water, your body? And then drinking, drinking water. Do you truly enjoy having clean water to drink or do you just toss it down because the doctor said you have to hydrate and you have to uh, drink a little more when you exercise do you like just cram it on your cram hole or do you actually see how precious water is and in the future there's not going to be wars over oil or gas there's going to be wars over fresh water supplies And then food, how grateful, how much for granted do you take your food on your plate? Can you, next time you have something to eat, just picture how that piece of food, and hopefully it's something nice and nourishing and makes your taste buds excited, how that food is being broken, broken down Sorry, into little cells and those cells are going to run through your veins and they're going to energize you and um, your body is going to create tissue out of it. Um, everything you ate so far in your life made up body cells that you're carrying around and that you might be seeing in the mirror when you look into the mirror um, in the morning. So when you eat and are aware of how your body is going to process that and turn it into your skin cell, your liver cell, your whatever cell. It is going to make you appreciate the food more, and I think it's also on a subconscious level make you be more mindful with how you pick your foods. What else can we talk about when taking for granted? What about transportation? Do you have a train and a bus out the door that brings you to places where you want to go, where you can go during COVID? Uh, what about a car? If you own a car, man, you're so rich. Um, you can go on road trips when COVID is over. You can experience such freedom without even ask for permission and having to show a passport if you travel within your country. What else can we think about? The fresh air. Yes, I just opened my windows here before I'm recording this episode. And to breathe in that ice cold fresh air and to feel my lungs filling in with that beautiful gas that is going to nourish my body cells too. And to feel refreshed and energized and knowing that all these trees out there are producing oxygen for me to breathe in and I'm producing CO2 for them to take in and then help them produce 
oxygen again and how beautiful is that and when you picture that how grateful can we be to have all these trees and plants out there that supply such precious uh, substances for us I don't know if you say substance for uh, oxygen but I know you know what I mean um, so take that also not for granted there's so many people in huge cities that have to wear masks on a daily because the smog is so bad the air is so bad to breathe in so take a deep breath and exhale and know that if you're having a shit day you can let that shit go now and appreciate those very simple things in life but if you think about it It is exactly those things that keep us alive. And the more precious you look at them, the more precious you feel they are, the more your body and your soul can take it in and make something good out of it. And you can pull yourself out of your deep hole that you might be sitting in. And if you're in a good place, it doesn't hurt either. Another thing that I want to not take for granted in my life is music um, today I had a very dark day and yesterday and I was listening to um, a tribe called Quest, I was listening to Queens of the Stone Age I was listening to the notorious B.I.G <laughs> Biggie <laughs> and his album with uh, featuring Frank Sinatra and If you find a song, if you find music that is really matching your mood and that really makes you indulge in that uh, weird mood you're in, um, it is so healthy if you do that for a couple minutes or a couple hours and then know that you can smile about that shitty face, that um, weird day you're having and just know that there's more people out there who go through days like that and you're not alone. And music, I find, is such a magical tool to uplift you, to make you feel understood. And um, so if you have CDs, if you have music downloaded, listen more to your music and maybe even dance, <laughs> shake your booty or just sit on the couch and, um, yeah, Listen to what those awesome artists have to say. Yeah, I think those were the points I wanted to talk about today. And those are things that we take for granted for sure. And if they're gone from one day to the other forever, then we first of all die. And second of all, our soul might um, diminish to a little piece of raisin. Um There might be way more things that you take for granted and that I haven't been mentioning here and that should be mentioned. But I'm sure my brain will come up uh, with something new regarding that topic soon and I'll just post it and spend another episode uh, with you. You were listening to the Borealis Experience. Thank you so much for letting me serve you this way. Podcasting has become... A huge passion in my life and I enjoy every minute every second um, I'm your host Aurora and yeah take really good care of yourself we need you out there bye bye